than 70% of its surface. But what is underneath all these water, we usually ignore, but that's a mistake. Because the rocks underneath the ocean interact with the ocean water itself, which in turn interact with the air. So in some way, what is going on down below the ocean has an impact on us and the environment we live in. One major component of these rocks beneath the ocean is a crystal called olivine. If this olivine gets in contact with water, and if the temperature is sufficiently high, it reacts with the water to form another rock called serpentinite, which you might see on your screen. Uh, this serpentinite is quite a special type of rock, not only because it is nice and green, but also because it has some very interesting properties. For one, it influences the motion of the continents. It is a very weak rock and making everything a bit more slippery. Another thing is, that the serpentinite can take up quite a large amount of carbon, carbon dioxide. It's, so it stores carbon dioxide inside thereby reducing the concentration of carbon dioxide in the air and reducing global warming. So I try to understand better how this really useful rock serpentinite forms by looking at some rocks which have been moved from underneath the ocean onto the continents. So, Two important things for, how, uh, for the formation of this serpentinite I already mentioned. We need the correct temperature and we need to get water into our rocks, usually by fractures. But there is one more thing which I found when I looked at these rocks really closely with the microscope. The third important point is the stability of the rocks themselves, the stability of the olivine in them. So what does it mean, the stability of olivine or the stability of a crystal in general? Crystals have very regular ordered structures like a grid and if parts of these grids are damaged, if parts are missing or if there's something in the grid which doesn't really belong there, this grid is, the crystal is less stable and reacts much faster. So just like a, a, a china cup with a fissure is more likely to break, an olivine crystal which is damaged is more likely to react with olivine to form serpentinite. So I was able to, to uh, understand better how this rock forms and I hope to continue to do so and to hope, I hope to learn more about how we can use this kind of rock to improve the environment for us and for future generations.